What is up guys? We are back and as you can see I have a lot of parts um, assem not assembled, not <laughs> they're just kind of scattered around the stadium and why I have them I am I actually going I'm actually going to go over how to make a good 5G deck. So I have shown my own 5G deck but I have gotten new additions to my collection and a lot of them have come better parts. So I just decided why not um add um, those parts into my 5G deck and before I knew it my 5G deck changed a pretty good amount so I'm going to take this time to not only present my new 5G deck but to also just kind of give an idea of what you want to do when um, you're creating your own 5G deck so before we get started make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. First up we have layers. So layers are very important to the Beyblade due to the fact that they are the main contact point of the Beyblade and will determine its overall performance when hitting another Beyblade. So as you can see, I just have a pretty good variety laid out right here. Um, some examples being Lord, Master, and Judgment. And of course, I also have two Sparking Series Beyblade layers, which is um, Rage and Brave. And I also have Air Knight from the Chosey series. So I would have put in a perfect Phoenix, but I do not have a dead armor that's intact. It did break a while ago, so I cannot do that. But Air Knight is pretty pretty good as well, so I am just adding it in there. And there's also some chips. We have Diablos um, number one. We have Spriggan. Um, we have Longinus for GT. And for the Sparking series, we have a Lucifer chip and we have a Fafner chip right there on Rage. So yeah, um, basically when you're going through your layer bases, um, I'm just going to give you like a, they, these are just a few good layer bases that you want to look for. Like I said, Perfect Phoenix is another good layer base, but um, just remember, you want to have a good variety in your deck, so make sure you're not going to be choosing all stamina or all attack. You, you want to make sure that you're balanced out so you can actually have counters to maybe different kinds of Beyblades that your opponent is going to have. Um, it just gives you like a better chance at winning because what if your opponent has like three um, stamina Beyblades and you have um, all attack Beyblades but you cannot launch your attack Beyblades well. Then you're going to be um, running out of stamina before um, you can knock up the opponent and your opponent's going to get the win without you being able to really put up a fight. And yeah, it's just really important to have variety. So like I said, I have some um, some different parts right here. Just one example that I really that I really like is Lord, just because of the fact that it's so versatile because you can switch from left to right. It's a very defensive layer when it spins left. It has some decent attack potential when it spins right. And you can like fix and if you want, you can just fix it in one rotation to add uh, extra strong lock with, with teeth like Valkyrie or Longinus because Spriggan's teeth aren't exactly the best. Um, just another one is Rage. To put it short, it's a buffed up sway. You don't really need to say much more. But yeah, um, these are the layers and um, that's really all there is to the layers I'm going to be moving on to the discs now. Alright, so for the discs, I was kind of struggling whether to put the chassis and with the layers or with this, but it's closer to discs in terms of performance, so I decided to put it with the discs. So as you can see, we have different kinds of discs right here. We have two for stamina and LAD purposes when it comes to um, uh, layer basis plus discs. We have the chassis which um, fuse the, the disc with the layer when it when the chassis attaches to the layer which actually um, increases burst resistance just because the actual disc part in the chassis is so small and we have an attack type disc which is width um, that's all we really, really need to know so generally the disc is going to be the central weight of your Beyblade and it kind of determines the performance greatly because something like wheel will provide a lot of outward rate distribution to give a lot of stamina while something like Blitz will give a lot of attack due to focusing its weight on like three key points. Um, one, and then something like the chassis for three, a 3A chassis is going to show, as, like, as you can see right here, there are huge uppercut blades right here which will increase the base uppercut performance. And we have like something like 00, zero and cross. Zero, 00 is just a good disc in general and adding frames will change its performance. You have frames such as like cross, 
small turn and etc. And so and yeah. So they're just multiple kinds of discs and um, you're just going to want to think about what disc pairs well with a layer. So in terms of something like Lord, it's a stamina and defensive layer. So you're gonna be wanting to put on something like wheel or zero zero and cross. And if you still have the burst blockers on your Lord layer, then you can um, you'll be fine putting on something like Vanguard and Bearing or Zero Wall and Bearing. But yeah, um, that is all for the dismount and let's move on to the drivers. So now here are the drivers. We have EV Dash, Extreme Dash, Mobius, Extend Plus, Destroy Dash, and we also have Hybrid. Um, all of these are very this this is an attack type. Once again, attack type. LED attack, uh, mostly LED and also very defensive, stamina and LED, and we just have a very funky um, stamina, defense, LED, just kind of an all-rounder, not excelling in any one part too much, but it is just generally, it's, it's just good like overall. But yeah, um, hybrid is a bit different, so we're just going to put that out. Um, it is fused with the disc, so it is a bit different. But Honestly, it's not as good as ignition, so I think we can just put that to the side for now. But yeah, over here we just have like Mobius. Um, I think Mobius is now like probably the best um, LED driver. We have Extend Plus, which I think is second to it. Um, Bearing is probably third now. Um, there is Destroy Dash, which has good LED and decent stamina. And yeah, I think it just um, it's one of like the top attack drivers in my opinion. And Honestly, it works pretty well for stamina combinations as well, which is kind of funny since it is meant to be an attack driver. We have Extreme Dash, low stamina, but has a great um, flower pattern when you launch it correctly and can knock out a lot of opponent Beyblades. And we also have Evolution Dash with high speed. A little bit uncontrollable, but the moment you hit something, you're probably going to smack it straight out of the stadium. But yeah, and these are the drivers. Um, they just kind of affect the movement of your Beyblade and honestly um, it's really important because they also determine the walk just like the teeth like fast drivers will increase the burst resistance but you also just want to make sure that even if it's a regular driver that the spring is strong enough to hold the Beyblade together unlike something such as bearing which has probably the weakest spring in the game it'll probably I like here let me just put it onto something like air knight let's listen to the difference in the teeth so this is um bearing on air knight as you can see you heard the clicks and in di and like something different such as extend plus you, as you can see the clicks are stronger using extend plus company to bearing so that's just um a comparison to show how important the spring is for a beyblade driver but yeah these are all the drivers so we've covered every single part so I'm just going to kind of go over the process of building one Beyblade. This is not one of my 5G deck Beyblades, but I'm just going to show you in general what you want to do when you create a Beyblade. So first up, let's just go with something like the Master Layer. So the Master Layer is good all around. It's in a way like a, like a Lord um, layer base without the rubber and it's a bit more round. So it has slightly less recoil when in either direction. So yeah, we have master it is a dual spin layer base and and I feel like it does have it when it's it it, it has a better um, low recoil design but I feel like it doesn't have as much burst resistance so in this case I think I'm going to put in the spring and chip so that we can reverse its spin whenever it encounters a heavy attacking same spin Beyblade and then after that we're thinking Master is very good in stamina and defense, so let's add a disc that will that will fit that purpose. We have Wheel, the best um, stamina disc in the game. And if you have a lot of stamina and your purpose is to outlast some some other Beyblade, then we want obviously a driver that can um, give it decent stamina and outlast the Beyblade. So let's take Mobius, and as you can see, we have a pretty nice Beyblade right here. And just to show how the Beyblade doesn't fall down at the end, I'm just spinning it right here. As you can see, it's like very still when it hits the center, and it's just slowing down now and watch as it finishes its last rotations, it does not fall down. That's just the general idea of Mobius, but yeah, 
over here is just um, a combo that I have made that someone could use in a 5G deck. Just not what I use personally, but generally that's just the kind of thought process that you want to go over when you create a uh, Beyblade for your 5G deck. Just remember, you cannot use um, two of the same part, so you have to make sure that all of your Beyblades are pretty well-rounded. You're not using all the good parts for one Beyblade and then making the other Beyblades really bad. But yeah, um, that is all for creating just a Beyblade by yourself. And now I'm going to get into my 5G deck. Alright, so here is my 5G deck. I'm just gonna go quickly over all of them and just like and just like say like what they're supposed to do and yeah. So over here we have Air Knight. We have the circular design which allows it to have little recoil. It is meant to be a stamina type layer. We have the wheel disc to give it a lot of stamina and we have the destroyed dash driver since I could not use um, extend plus twice since I already have it on one of my combos. But yeah, um, overall it's just meant to have decent stamina to outlast same spin Beyblades and have good enough LED to match top tier um, um, LED combos. It just um, is uh, good enough to beat like the lower higher tier Beyblades in the same spin and also meant to beat the lower higher tier Beyblades or match the high, high tier Beyblades in opposite spin. So yeah, just this is one of like the leftover Beyblades that I created with an extra part of Destroy Dash. So it's not the best Beyblade in my deck, but I think it is pretty good overall. Next up we have Judgment Diabolos with, with an extreme dash. I'm now gonna go into it since I already have made a video on it. Go check back into my channel page if you want to find an explanation about this combo. We have now Lord Longinus, a stamina um, defensive LED Beyblade, so I have Extend Plus right here, and Zero Zero Cross. I already used Wheel, so I cannot use um, Wheel onto this combo, but honestly, I think Zero Zero Cross is actually better to counter the Mobius Driver, just because of the fact that this Beyblade will tilt over a little bit more than when it has Wheel, which, do which uh, makes it harder for a Beyblade with the Mobius Driver to... Um, to lean on top of the Beyblade to keep its balance. So personally, I think that this combo is better for what might be coming in the current meta. But yeah, here's my Lord Longinus combo, and let's move on to fourth Beyblade, which is going to be my Rage Fafner with Evolution Dash and 3U. So I could have chosen Helios just because it is heavier, but personally, I like Fafner, so I, and I just want to keep the dragon um, theme. So yeah, here is um, Rage Fafner, just just high speeds from Evolution Dash, and it's it, it has such a huge contact area and such good up like just it just it's just so chunky that and heavy that <coughs> using Evolution Dash will allow it to basically knock out or burst anything that it hits. So it, it's going to be harder to control. But honestly, if there's another Beyblade in the stadium, like look, we have like. Like two Beyblades that take up like this much of the stadium moving at high speeds, eventually they're going to hit, and when it hits, it's going to be doing some pretty serious damage. So, yeah, that is my fourth combo, and my final combo over here is Brave Whisper with Mobius Awakened and 2S. So, Mobius, um, you are allowed to awaken it by launching it in the stadium or like the double um, infinity stadium from the Chosy series to awaken it um, deep. And yeah, um, if you just awaken it up to the point that um, you can still see the groove, it is still um, legal for competitive play. And I personally just use this because um, it's able to kill the spin of same spin Beyblades using its rubber here. It has good stamina using the 2S chassis with its outward weight distribution and Mobius allows it great light off the depth that I personally think outclasses basically every other Beyblade that I've had so far. So yeah, um, just putting all these back here. These are my 5G deck Beyblades. The order that they go in battle is going to vary because um, I'm going to need to find a good way to assemble them, but these are just the babies that I have, and let's just do a few test battles before we call this video to an end. Alright, so first up we have Air Knight and Rage Fafner, and yeah, we have a stamina 
LED combo versus a top type combo. So let's see how this goes. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Alright, as you can see, Air Knight uses its round um, frame to repel attacks from even something like Rage. Um, it can't, Rage can get good hits on Air Knight, but this round it could not. And as you can see, Air Knight has greater stamina and it can hang in for the battle. Let's move on to another pair. Alright, now we have Judgment and Lord. We have a left spin LED and a right spin attacker, so there's going to be less recoil. But if you launch this one properly, you should be able to knock this combo off. But let's see what happens this time. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. So I slow launched it because most people do that in tournaments. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And just like that, as you can see, Judgment knocked out the combo right out of the park. So this one didn't really suffer any damage, but it, it, it's just that this one moves so fast and has such a um, huge attack that it's able to knock out practically anything as long as it's not um, heavily, it's, as long as it's not greatly outclassed in weight. So in terms of weight, um, that's why some, some people use Octa because it increases the weight of the combo, but Extreme Dash and Quick Dash are more fun in my opinion because you have to see the baby move around the stadium, but that's it for these two. So let's move on to another pair. Alright, so now we have these two LED combos and we just I'm just going to showcase how well these two do in LED. Three, two, one, go shoot. And three, two, one, go shoot. So I don't want to keep you guys too long with this, so I'm just going to pause it and come back when they have less stamina. Alright, so now Brave Lucifer is coming down. Honestly, the Mobius driver is really like um awakened volcanic dash but buff, like it, it wastes less stamina and it stays up longer on the ridge, so I honestly think that it is pretty nice. Here we are at the end, and okay, so that time um, was a tie. It was probably closer to Brave Lucifer's win, but as you can see, both of these have really great LED. They're able to hang in for a long time. I'm just going to launch one more time to see if either of them are going to be able to win. So this time, I'm going to angle launch to see if that means anything. And yeah, so I, I launched them a bit slower so we can have a bit, uh, we don't have to stick around for too long and I won't have to pause the video. But as you can see, we are here at the end and we're just going to see the LED of these two Beyblades. And as you can see, the winner is Brave Lucifer. So one strategy with Brave Lucifer is, is that you can slow launch it against an off-spin opponent which basically makes the opposite spin opponent um, lose its balance and circle around it because Lucifer is spinning slower than it. And a good thing is that Lucifer, um, they, no other opponent can use that strategy against um, a Mobius combo because Mobius does not lose balance due to its very flat tip. So that's just an advantage that Mobius has over others and I ended up putting Mobius standing on longiness which kind of looks like an end of a match, kind of funny, but either way. Um, let's just do like two more pairs and we'll call this video to an end. Alright, so now we have Air Knight um, with very low recoil against a uh, uh, same spin attack type. So maybe Air Knight will show a bit different performance. Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. And here is Diablo. Shoot. Aww, and it looks like Air Knight was able to take the win. That's another good thing about Air Knight. Um, its layer is so huge. Its, its layer base is about as big as Brave and close to Rage Longinus's layer as well. So it, since it has such a big layer, it is able to um, hit the pocket and have a good chance at coming back out. And since it has such a round design, it um, doesn't lose much stamina doing so. So that's just another advantage that it has that I wanted to point out. But let's just go on to one last um, pair. Alright, so for the last battle, um, I just have to take two sparking combos. We have Brave Lucifer and Rage Fafner, so let's just see how this goes. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. So in this battle, we will be able to see how well um, Mobius' defense will work, but here it is. Oh, wait, if I might have said, um, wait, no, sorry. 
Did I say rage longiness at one point? If I did, I am sorry, it is rage fact. But either way, as you can see, um, Mobius was able to climb up onto the ridge, and like it doesn't climb as fast as the attack type driver, so it's able to like, stay under and deflect it into the pocket. I'll just do one last one to see if there is any difference in performance. But here we go again. Three, two, one, go. As you can see, Mobius is able to take the hits and it does not get knocked back very well. And we have another knockout for this combo. To, so just to quickly tell you guys, this is actually my favorite combo and probably my best combo. But putting that aside, that was all for the battles with my 5G deck. Alright, so yeah, that is the end of a pretty long video on covering what um, like how to build your 5G deck and cover my own 5G deck. Um, I, I really hope that this video was useful to you all. Like maybe like I gave you some inspiration with, with my combos right here. Or maybe um, you guys will try making your own combos through just like trial and error with the method that I showed you earlier and just the advice that I gave you earlier. I, I, I really hope that this helps. Like, like um, it, it just... Um, I feel like it's hard to make a combo unless you're able to look at someone else that already has a competitive enough combo or um, and it's also hard if you if you just don't um, know how to build yourself a combo so yeah just basically when you're making a combo um, just know what your Beyblade is trying to do stick to that theme and choose parts that will allow you to achieve what you're looking for and yeah, all of these Beyblades right here are just um, five of many examples that just um, go, that have gone through that um, process and have just passed, um, in, in my opinion, just like the expectation. It, it just like, pa it, it just like passed my expectations, honestly, like this one kind of surpassed the expectations I had. I did, I, come on, I, I thought that this combo would knock it up, but you know what, let's Never mind that. Um, that is all I have for my video today. I really hope that that this video and its information has helped you guys and will help you guys in the future. But yeah, that is all and I'll see you guys later.